Hello everyone, welcome to my video. In this video, we're going to learn how can we create a machinery MS Gallery and our favorite Gutenberg editor. In this tutorial, I will use a block and that is our machinery MS Gallery block. So before going to start with this play, uh, with this uh, tutorial, you have to install and activate these plugins. So I'm going to activate these plugins. You can see it is giving a simple admin page. You can report any bug, or you can also write these plugins, or you can see the changes of from this change log. Or you can, you can also visit this website to get the similar more blocks. So we have finished our installation and activation. So if you go back to this uh, editor, suppose I am going to create a new page and this is our new page. And if you click on this plus icon to expand this all blocks, and you will find a default category that is called the media and under this category you can see this is our expected block so simply click on this icon to add the block in your editor so i'm going to click so uh, this is the initial stage of this plugins it is giving an uploading options to add uh, gallery images so you can add definitely add uh, more images uh, multiple images you can upload from your media library or you can directly upload from your hard drive so i have i have already uploaded the some images in my computer uh, sorry in my uh, media library so i want to add this from the library suppose i want to add on this images so i have selected all of these images that i want to insert into the gallery and if you click to create a new gallery then you can see all images are here you can simply drag and drop and rearrange them as per your need and you can see there is an important feature and that is called the caption for these images so you can add a captions like i have added captions for this image my work index and i have also added an uh, another caption for this image like lovely moment similarly i have added captions for all other uh, images so when you have finished your uh, ordering and the adding the caption simply click on this insert gallery button so once you click you can see our machinery gallery is created successfully we can also rearrange them simply click on this edit images and we can also add a new image from here or you can also delete an image from here suppose i want to rearrange this one something like this and if i update this gallery i will see that our images are updated now so you can see by default there are three columns or selected if you selected this uh, gallery images you will find out the three tabs for the customization First one is the general tabs and you will find the panels also like photo editing or photo settings and the light box. Similarly, you will find a color tabs to add the color for this image border and caption color. And there is also an another advanced tab to add some extra um, settings. So in the general tabs, you can change the columns number by default it is 3 on desktop and if I go to this tablet view, you can see there are two columns and mobile view, I'm getting this one column. I can change this like if I want to make this 4, you can see this is our 4 columns in gallery. And you can change the gutter, I mean this spacing between this S, uh, between two images, so this is our gutter and this is our uh, horizontal and this is our vertical gutter so you can increase or decrease like i'm making this in zero or you can add a small gutter like this 5 pixel and similarly you can change the gutter value on the different devices like this tablet uh, to make this file and in case of the mobile you can keep it uh, 5 or a smaller value and you can see this is our photo editing options you can 
add some uh, styling to your as a uh, gallery image like you can add a border uh, like I want to add a border one pixel and it gives the border style like so the dotted or solid or dashed color dashed style like this and if you don't like this border you can simply make it none or you can make it the width and zero so it will uh, look uh, something like this and then you can see this is the border radius you can add to the border radius uh, like I want to add a 5 pixel border radius uh, you can see now it is looking better you can also unlink this and add the border radius uh, individually so I want to add this border radius for all sides and there's an hover effect right now this non and normal to gray effect if you select this normal to gray effect once you hover you can see our images is going to be gray color so I want to keep it to this normal so there is no hover effect right now there is an important feature that is called the show captions you can uh, hide or make it visible to the image caption so if I select it like I am going to uh, make the visible the caption then if I hover the image you can see our image uh, captions is visible here you can change the caption position by default center or you can make it to the stove like it is at the top of this image you can also make it to the bottoms like this one suppose I have selected this button you can change the font uh, size for this captions on different images like uh, desktop tablet and mobile and most important features is that's the light box you can make it enable or disable I can also change the color for this border and this caption caption color is uh, white and it is looking better so I want to update this I want to see the result at the front end and you can see this is our machinery glory and if you click on one image this one image you can see it is giving this light box and it is working perfectly so I think you have understood how to create a machinery glory and a good back editor if you have any questions you can let me know I will try my best to give the answer of your questions thank you